Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about which key diatonic harmonica you should buy as a beginner or intermediate blues musician. And this is in continuation to the video I uploaded yesterday about common key harmonica sounds. So firstly, generally speaking, the beginner harmonica player will purchase a key of C diatonic harmonica because most resources are written for this particular key. However, regardless of the key of harmonica you buy, you can learn material written in any key. The techniques will be identical, but it will sound a little bit different because it's tuned to a different scale. If you're playing solo, this won't matter so much, but if you're playing to backing tracks, and you just won't, it just won't sound right. So you need to find the correlated backing track for the key of your harmonica. Personally, I found the key of C harmonica to be particularly confronting to begin with, mainly because it sounds so high pitched. So this can be frustrating when you're practicing to perfect the single, like the single draw notes and blow notes, as well as the other techniques such as bending. Um, so what I highly recommend is key of A harmonica. It's deeper and it's more mellow, and many blues records are written in the key of E. So they will use a key of A harmonica played in second position. This sounds kind of confusing, so I'm gonna explain a little bit further. Okay, so there's two ways to play on a harmonica, through inhaling and exhaling, and it's the only instrument in the world that's able to do so. Exhaling gives you the first position, which is the key of the harmonica. So for a key of C harmonica, first position would be the key of C. Inhaling, on the other hand, would give you second position, and that's a perfect fourth of the key of the harmonica. So in this case, it would be the key of G. Blues harmonica is nearly almost always played in second position with the technique of bending, and it is the technique that gives harmonica its bluesy tone. And bending is a technique that you must learn as a blues musician, even though it takes a lot of time and effort and frustration trying to get it into your muscle memory. Due to the difficulty of learning this technique, that's the reason why I recommend using a key of A or a lower keyed harmonica versus a key of C or a high pitched harmonica, because learning on a high pitched harmonica could get quite annoying. And chances are, if you really do love harmonica, you'd purchase quite a few more anyway, because you can now control all the sounds of the various keys. So I hope this video has helped you out, and if you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.